Hello, this is Kay Jolie with Crochet Basics. And in this episode, I just, um, I wanted to go over a few things uh, about lining bags. Now, when it comes to lining bags, I, I tell you, I'm not an expert. You know, I get by, I do the best I can. Uh, I'm not, I can sew, I'm not the best sewer. Like, you know, I, I wouldn't be able to put a dress together or some kind of something. It probably wouldn't fit right if I did that, <laughs> okay? But I just wanted to, um, I guess, go over, you know, little little tips and things of uh, lining bags and different types of bags, different, you know, now I crochet, so I guess this video would be for like crocheters and knitters uh, alike because um, they're similar with, uh, you know, shaping and all that kind of stuff and what have you. All right, so I pulled out some bags from my collection or whatever that I've made. Some are new. This one is new in a video that I just did. And uh, some I've did a while ago, you know. So uh, just to show you whatever. All right, now this one is beaded. And I'm not zoomed in, but I swear this uh, camera's feel, makes it feel like I'm zoomed in. All right, this one was beaded cotton all cotton what have you with a cinch closure and the straps are on the sides underneath where the cinch is okay so with this one even though my stitching is very tight i think it's a single crochet all right it's actually half double crochet i could tell by the wrapping um with this one if i was going to line it this one's a nice tight one. You don't necessarily need a lining for something that's tight. Now, I picked up a bunch of these. Um, these are quilters uh, squares or what have you. So, fat quarters. I went to the craft store not too long ago with, uh, with my sister. And I was in the sewing section looking for the strap adjusters that I'm always going on about and <laughs> and I said you know I was looking at these and I said oh you know the measurements on them for you know they're already cut they're cut nice and straight so that saves me time if it's uh, the size I need okay but now this is a round bottom bag so you need um, you want it to fit your bottom you don't want a, a little tiny you know square or whatever you know where you're reaching in and it's kind of like an envelope or something because it's a round bottom back okay so with this one if i was going to line it i'm sorry let me move this stuff here okay get to that in a minute all right if i was going to line this particular bag I would you, you want to iron your piece make sure it's flat and all that kind of thing all right but I would probably fold it over but give myself more room like I would I would make it wider um, than what the bag is so that you when you put your stuff in it's easier to get your stuff down to the bottom of the bag and what have you. And I always suggest, I, I don't normally use needles and stuff like that, uh, pins rather, I'm sorry, pins uh, with crochet. If I'm, um, not for sewing, but like if I'm crocheting two pieces together, you know, a garment or what have you, I don't normally pin it. I usually put it in place with uh, one of those plastic safety pin stitch marker things. But these pins are great uh, as far as you're gonna see this. If you use this in a contrasting color to pin it, so if I was gonna do this, line this one, I would pin it around and then fold in the sides, you know, cut it to size, fold in the sides, and you'd have two seams. And with something like this, I always say to put
put a few stitches on the very bottom. So even if you sew it around, put a few stitches through the bottom so that when you're reaching into your bag to grab out whatever, you're not pulling the whole lining out of place. And then you have, you know, like a pillowcase kind of effect. You don't want that. Uh, at least I don't think you want that. All right, uh, this is an old one. <laughs> this is when I first started doing bags, actually. And um, what I did, because I'm fun, is I bought tote bags from the craft store. And this is fun, like if you have, like if you wanted to do goodie bags or some kind of something, for something really special, you know, like a, a baby shower, like a small intimate, you know, you don't want to make a thousand of these unless you're going to sell them. All right, but what I did was I bought the tote bag and I actually crocheted around the tote bag and then I made my strap with the magnetic and you can actually see where that is. So this one was fun. This bag is, I made this forever ago. And uh, it's all cotton and the liner, the tote inside is cotton. And I already have the handles and it's lined. <laughs> you know, it's lined because I did it around it, you know, and I crocheted it to size. So now this is a, a little tote bag, a nice little round bottom, what have you. I didn't put the handle in yet, and I still have my stitch marker in, of course, because uh, sometimes I wait. I usually wait till the very end, till I'm, you know, ready to uh, put it all together, put a handle on or whatever. This is probably just going to be a cinch, and I'll add a handle on later on. Anyway, so with this, I would weave in all my ends. Oh, see? Now this is something I tell you about in another video. <laughs> you don't want to hit, you know, go through the uh, scrap yarn that you used because when you pull it out, you could make a, uh, a pull in it, mess up your yarn. So I'm going to leave that for now because I do not have a scissor in front of me. But what I would do here is exactly the same. I would take my fabric that I'm going to use I think I pulled out too many bags to show you. All right, iron it, of course. So I would cut it down. I would put it underneath, of course. Underneath the cinch is what I always tell you because you don't want it to, um, when you're closing up the bag and opening whatever, you don't want it to hit your sewing thread, you know? because uh, it could wear it out and then the next thing you know every time you use the bag you have to sew the the lining so what I would do here is fold it down and you want to iron it you know if you can iron um, it uh, your piece of fabric to how you're going to sew it on I always think that's better than just randomly like oh it's a little wrinkled or whatever or I'm just gonna make a crazy seam or you know or what have you because it makes it uh, nice and neat for when you go to sew it on. So it does make it a little easier uh, for when you're going to sew it on. All right, so with this, I would just fold it more or less like I'm folding, like I'm, I'm going to wrap a gift. Okay, even though it's, you know, it's first. <laughs> and I'd pin it on. Um, I'm going to go with the pink pins here. All right, so you want to sew it with uh, crochet. I think it's easier the way, um, depending on the way your bag was made, because you could see your rows and how you're going to, um, you know, pin it on and stuff, like exactly where your seam is going to be. That's why these are great. If you're not great at measuring and cutting and all that kind of thing, these pre-cut for quilters, thank you quilters, are um, perfect for this. You know, if you get it to fit if you have one that'll actually fit the size of your bag. And you're just gonna pin it on. You don't need that many pins. You're not, um, I really don't think you can, I've never tried to run it on a sewing machine, but I don't think it a good idea actually because um, it would jack up your stitches, it would jack up your crochet, it would mess it up. All right, so once you have the first side pinned, um, you can cut off your excess, you know, 
you don't need that uh, much, but you do want it to fit your bag, of course. So this is a total uh, round bottom bag and it's on an angle. So here I would make my seams. Uh, you want everything straight, you know, as straight as possible, but you want it to have a little give, you know what I mean? Because um, you want it to look right. You want it to sit right. Okay. So from here, I have it to the bottom. Sorry, I'm not zoomed in, but for some reason, I think I have to put my tripod way up in the air or something. All right, now here, again, sorry. All right, here, this is where my bag cuts off, actually. So here is um, the shape of my bag. So what I would do is I would cut the end or before you cut it, you know, make sure you have enough. Don't short yourself. You know, you want, for a bag, you want it to have a, a little more space on the inside or whatever, especially if it's knit or crochet, because these things, they, they stretch, you put stuff in, they shift, your stitches will loosen up depending on your stitch itself, you know, if it's a, um, and the yarn itself or what have you. All right, so here, I could just fold it over twice to make a good solid seam. Well, I would cut off some of that. <laughs> I wouldn't leave all of this excess or what have you. And this is, I'm just doing it to the bag itself. Um, you can measure and do it separately, but I find it easier when it is a round bottom tote that it's just easier to uh, make the lining itself fit to the bag as if you're wrapping a present. It just kind of works out easier. So here I would cut some of this excess off because I can't even get really through it with a pin. So if I can't get through it with a pin, how am I gonna get through it with a needle and thread? All right, but I would pin it up. And I'm sorry if you can't see the pins but I'm using, you know, these bulb pins here with the little ball at the end, okay? And, uh, you know, I would trim off the excess, make a double fold so that you don't have uh, any fraying. You don't want your material to fray, all right? And you want the sides around to be uh, loose so that the bag adjusts itself because this is not, you know, like I said, lining a crochet or a knit bag is different than lining a fabric bag, a leather bag, what have you. The leather, regular fabric, rigid. They'll, that'll stay in place. So you'll, so you're lining all the way, you know, all the way around. But with crochet and knit, it's different because they're loose, the, you know, it's loose. If you crocheted with regular, you know, if you crocheted with um, wire <laughs> or something super rigid that's never going to shift or move or whatever, then that's different. All right, so I would cut off my exit, my excess. Ba -ba. And for here, if you don't want to sew it straight on and you're going to, you know, run the sides on a machine, you don't have to pin it to the bag just yet. You can pin it across when you got exactly what you want. All right, so if I was gonna do that, here I went through the bag, I would just go through the fabric, run it on the sewing machine, pull it out. If you're gonna do it on a sewing machine, you would run the sides on the sewing machine. You can even row, uh, run the top seam on a sewing machine if you're so inclined. If you are not that inclined, you know, you can do it by hand or you could just do it onto the bag. And I know this seems crazy and I'm a little rushed today because I've been thinking about this video and then I think, you know, I'm not really an expert at doing this uh, sewing. From here, you would just sew it on and like I said, you know, once you have it in place and it's sewn on around the top, 
okay you can leave your you don't have to sew straight down just around the top and what you would do is you would fix your bag make sure your lining is in place the way you want it okay so here's my lining or what have you and just go through inconspicuously if you want to do it from the outside you can if you have a matching thread or whatever or even just going in between and just give a few stitches on the bottom to keep that liner in place so that when you're digging through looking for your lipstick or what you know whatever it is you're it's uh, fall now so you'll be looking for your hand sanitizer of course uh, <laughs> and your chapstick whatever you know so that you don't pull it out as you're pulling it out you know as you're pulling out whatever the item is and this is what that would look like this is what the inside would look like and it would be sewed you know sewn in around the top okay and uh, that's for a round bottom that's a basic round bottom okay here is a backpack I made I love this one now this is from way back when when I first started doing bags and all of this now this handle I so I crocheted the handle the whole entire jammy jam and I attached it to the straps these are the nylon straps you get at the store here's the strap adjusters you get at the store and this is when I first started doing this technique with making the tabs and stuff and uh, the problem is is when you crochet this the, the strap you really cannot get it through there <laughs> you cannot get it through these slits so that's not this video though but just a side note you really can't Woo! it's hard I have a few here that I did but I attached it I sewed this on so that I reinforced the crochet and you have the the beauty and the matching of the crochet but you still have an adjustable strap so that's something you know I, I really um a lot of times with these videos when I'm just showing you something you know about embellishing or tips on amigurumis and stuff like that I'm just hoping to inspire you to try uh, a different technique a different way of doing something really if you think about it you know um so this one I never did a pocket on it because I uh, I thought it would take away from the pretty and look at how tight I used a very small hook and a single crochet to make this bag all right but with this just to show you when I did do the handles when I attached them I reinforced them I put fabric on and I sewed through like crazy just to um, strengthen so that the handle wouldn't rip off if you put st something in there way heavy and it's underneath so if I were to line this bag I would do exactly the same thing I would wrap it like a gift pull out the uh, pull out the insides and uh, lay it flat I really this is so tight <laughs> this uh, single crochet I must have used a tiny hook I made this bag a while ago a lot of uh, quite a while ago actually but I never did anything with it I never used it and I never sold it and I never gave it away so something like this let's see um, 18 inches by 21 inches and this is hundred percent cotton so but with this I don't think I have enough fabric on this square because this is a, a deep backpack but I would do the same thing I would get a piece of fabric that is big enough for this bag and because of the handles of how I sewed them on I would cover that I, I wouldn't necessarily want that uh, hanging out but I would do the same exact thing I would make it as if it was like an envelope you know like you're wrapping uh, something in tissue paper or what have you you know a Christmas gift or you know a holiday gift or whatever birthday and stuff like that and I would do the same thing and instead of sewing straight down the middle I would probably just do a few stitches in each corner with your needle and thread just to hold it in place your lining here's the liner I did I did a pocket on the outside here's another cotton in a uh, single crochet with a super duper small hook and this one is lined 
I uh, what I did here was I made the fold. I'm not zoomed in. I'm sorry. I know I'm I'm right up on it, but I'm not I'm not zoomed in. I swear. All right, one piece. Sewed it all the way around. Sewed it on top, all the way around. Okay, I left a little room so that it can adjust and uh, move the camera, gotta move the light, okay. And here, I didn't sew it to the bottom, but what I did was I anchored it on the sides so that my liner wouldn't pull out. All right, so here, this is as far as that's gonna come and the bag is there. So this will never, you know, that won't detach. So if I'm digging for something or whatever, it's in there, you know, it's in good. And that's really what you want. You want it to be in good and secured in a way to the bottom. If it's knit and crochet or whatever, secured to the bottom. This one, I secured it to the side. And let's see, where is it? Here, it's attached right there, right over here. And you can't see it, very small stitches and I went through only on the inside and made sure it didn't come out through the outside. This pocket, I did an afterthought. I said, let me put a pocket, spice up the blue. It's uneven stripes because we're fun. And then I just went around. So that's how I made the pocket here. And I made sure, you know, that I hit every uh, uh, piece of it, you know, every, every row so that, you know, if I was sticking a card or some kind of something, you know, it was in there. Okay. And this is the same thing. So I went in, if you could see, you should be able to see that. I crocheted the handle. I attached it to a nylon strap, super secure, not coming off. Um, and then I sewed it, the nylon and the strap so that I knew it was reinforced and it wasn't gonna, you know, rip off, okay? That's like important, you want that. If you're making a strap bag, you know, if you're gonna do a strap with the um, crochet on it, you know, or a knit strap, you wanna reinforce it as best as possible because don't forget, it's gonna stretch. It's gonna stretch, it's gonna pull, da, da, da. The more stuff you put in the bag, the heavier the bag, the more it's gonna fall down and stretch out your stitches and all that good stuff. And I think that's about it. I don't know what else to uh, tell you as far as lining. So uh, if you're like me, you will buy pre-cut pieces because you can't seem to cut straight. <laughs> and uh, pin, if you're pinning, use these contrasting color so that it sticks out needle and thread, um, anchor the liner itself to the bottom. Always try and use a cotton liner, not nothing that's gonna stretch. And always leave yourself a little extra room so that you can, you know, when you put stuff in, there's shifting power. And, uh, and always anchor it to either the very bottom or like, you know, the sides uh, down low so that when you're digging, you're not pulling out your liner. You're not pulling it fully out or any kind of thing because that's always strange. All right. Um, so I think that's uh, as much info as I know on uh, lining bags. <laughs> okay. From my experience and uh, my opinion and, you know, my techniques and stuff that way. So um, if you have not subscribed, please do, because I do have uh, good stuff coming out. I have a few fall patterns I'm coming out with and Halloween is around the corner. And, you know, I do a little something special for Halloween. I've done the witch, I did the bat, and uh, I'm trying to cook up something special for this Halloween. I'm working on a pattern already and hopefully I can work on the video soon. Um, if you have any questions, comments, happy critiques, what have you, uh, tips, tricks that you want to share, please do, you know, um, ev you know, not everybody's an expert and not everybody, you know, knows, you know, is born 
knowing how to do this stuff or whatever. Sometimes it takes time and tips, you know, tips and tricks always help. It's always nice to share, I think. Um, you know, good stuff. Share good stuff. <laughs> um, don't share your colds. That's not nice. All right. And um, thank you so much for watching. As always, happy hooking because it keeps you off the street, keeps you out of trouble. I tell you, these bags keep me out of trouble and making these videos keep me out of trouble. And I hope I'm keeping you out of trouble. Um, thank you so much for watching. As always, have a super duper great day. Uh, crochet basics, um, tips and tricks on lining bags. Hey, uh, and I'll be back very, very soon. Uh, please subscribe again. Uh, I'll be back with my new Halloween pattern and a few, uh, fall patterns and such like that. All right. Thanks again for watching and you have a super duper great day. Crochet basics. Bye.